Welcome to my channel, Chibi Chibi Chef Japanese Home Cooking. Today, I'd like to show you how to make my favorite Japanese crunchy garlic chili oil and some easy ways to use the chili oil. This kind of garlic chili oil has been very popular in Japan for over a decade, but if you buy it in the US, it's a little bit pricey. So, let's make it by ourselves. First, slice a lot of garlic. It takes time to peel all the garlic cloves, so I always buy peeled garlic to shorten the cooking time. Or just buying fried garlic is the easiest way. But to save some money, I always buy peeled garlic and slice them. This is the hardest part. In a medium sized pot, add 1 cup of sesame oil and 1 cup of cooking oil each. If you don't want to use too much sesame oil since it's more expensive than the normal cooking oil, you can adjust the ratio of the oils. Heat the oil over low to medium heat and drop a slice of garlic there. If it comes up to the surface quickly, the oil is ready. Deep fry the garlic slices until they get crispy, but be careful not to burn them. While cooking the garlic, put some sesame seeds and red chili pepper in a large bowl. You can use Korean chili flakes too. When the garlic slices are brown and crispy, but not burned, turn off the heat and add it in the large bowl carefully. Garlic and the sesame oil smells so good in the kitchen. The oil is still bubbling. I added some chopped green onion, but this is optional. If you just add dried ingredients, you can store the chili oil in the fridge longer, but it's so tasty and we demolish it really quick. And add a few tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of soy sauce, two teaspoons of salt, and one cup of fried onion. I always get this fried onion at Trader Joe's, but I think you can get it at Asian grocery stores too. And add 1 tablespoon of Korean gochujang. Mix all of them well, and if you want to add more of those ingredients to make it spicier or sweeter, please go ahead. This is super super delicious. I need to make this quite often for my husband and friends to share. When the garlic chili oil gets cooler, prepare sanitized bottles or tins to store the oil. With these ingredients, you can fill up a few jam tins. Done. Next, I'll show you some easy recipes with the chili oil. The first one is the easiest and the best way to enjoy this garlic chili oil. Just eat it with some warm cooked rice. Add as much as you want and enjoy. You might end up eating a lot of rice though. Next one is super easy too. Just top some silken tofu with the chili oil. If you want, you can add a little bit of soy sauce, but I usually don't need to. The soft tofu and crunchy garlic chili oil match perfectly. Super tasty! Next one is with dumplings. This is just so amazing! Once you eat the dumplings with this chili oil, you can't go back to normal dumplings anymore.
Next, you can make a delicious salad with the chili oil so easily. Dress your favorite greens with the chili oil and some fresh lime juice or lemon juice to give a little freshness. You don't need any toppings and it's oishi! Last one is eating it with some noodles. You can eat it with any noodles to give a little kick, but this cold noodle recipe is one of my favorites. Place both cold noodles and any salad vegetables you like in a bowl, then top with Japanese noodle soup. Then add the garlic chili oil there. It becomes like a restaurant level noodle dish. There are more ways to use this chili oil. This garlic chili oil is very useful and so tasty. So it's worth making a big bunch of it. Thank you for watching and see you again. Matane!